Okay, so we have an idea of what the Juventus team looks like. Let, let's project into the future. Let's, let's project realistically. It's a Champions League quarterfinal. It's Juventus against Bayern. Everybody's fit. And I'm trying to imagine the starting 11. So I'm assuming Chesney and goal. Fine, we got that. Wasn't this weekend. How disappointing. Okay, yeah, yeah, I know. It wasn't this weekend, but we know why. I still so, prefer the form. Okay. <laughs> but I presume Danilo or if uh, Danilo at right back, possibly De Sandra. or whatever. Alexandro is your left back. Chiellini may or may not be back. I don't know. But what we're going Bonucci and Delict. By well, April. based on what Demerol did over the weekend, then <laughs> probably. But I would like to give Demerol more of a chance. Okay. I just feel like it was a bad game. I don't right. know. And then up front, and there's a reason why I'm jumping to the up front, we've got Cristiano, Iguain. Douglas Costa on the other flank, and Iguain, right? Mm -hmm. And Dybala played well, but... Dybala played well. Dybala, Dybala, you still have Dybala in your naughty step. You still want him gone, yeah? You don't buy into this HD... Okay. I mean, listen, it, it's not that I didn't think he did very well. Um, I think that what frustrates me is that the Dybala thing is that we have to constantly discuss Dybala. Juventus is too much of a big team to care whether or not this, this Argentine young boy is ever going to live up to expectations or not. We've been talking about this for the last four He'll years. He'll always be the you know young what? boy. He's He's like he's yeah, I know, he's, gonna be a, he's, he's no longer the boy wonder. Right. I'm sick and tired of the brother coming out okay. being like, oh, the orchestra can't run without my no, sensational no, no, younger brother. Here's the thing. Let's get over no, no, it. I, I, I guess you, you prefer Wayne. I think it makes sense, Dickie. But I want to. Are you comfortable with Dybala as the alternative to Iguain? Yeah, the I'm guy fine who plays in bad game? Okay. So you're on board with the eleven so far. We have gotten the midfield. Yes. Um, I mean, the one part of it that I was slightly questioning is, um, it, it seems that Sari is very much set on Douglas Costa. I like Bernadeschi to play some more in that role, but Sadi himself too. has said that he sees Bernadeschi playing more in midfield in the long run, which is interesting. So I know what you're about to get to, Gab. Is how the hell do exactly. you pick a midfield? I mean, look, I think I think that his Douglas Costa reason is simple. He Sadi thinks he can't carry Ronaldo and Higuain up front or Ronaldo and Dybala because uh, you've got two people who, who don't get around the pitch off the ball. And so Douglas Costa gives you the option of switching to 4-4-2 mm -hmm. and to 4-3-3. Except Douglas Costa is a lot faster and more athletic that's than, than Bernardeschi. At this, or at least that's how Sadi sees him. That's the argument. More athletic, not necessarily a hard worker. Anyway, I'm sorry we're going into the yeah, I think you're okay either one. Douglas Costa or Bernardeschi. I, I think you're fine with both. Okay. Mm. Well, we agree it's, it'll be one or the yeah. other, right? Okay. Here's where it gets funny. <laughs> I think it's hilarious. I love that you think this is so fun. No. You have three places in midfield. Uh -huh. I'm just going to take a poll, a straw poll. You can think about it. You're lost. You can go last. Uh -huh. I'll start with you, Nikki. Everybody's fit. Everybody's happy. Who are your three central midfielders? Uh, picking a balanced midfield is, is really, like, hard here. Um, I, th I think it's still Pjanic in the middle of it. Um, even though I'm not okay, Pjanic, hugely you know? sold on his, his form at the moment. I think Pjanic will get in all um, our teams. So you can move. My personal opinion is that Ramsey has the quality and should be in it. Okay. But now we have already a really unbalanced situation. So I'm thinking, how are we going to um, put something a bit more stable? Because that's a very attacking option in Ramsey mm -hmm. in a three. And then you end up with something really sort of clunky right, like Kadira. Kadira. Pjanic, yeah. Ramsey, Kadira. Yeah. Okay. But then you've lost Matuidi, who's right. played well. And who covers space. Yeah, it might be Matuidi rather than Kadira. I, I, I don't like it. I, I don't like this formation for the midfielders they have, frankly. So, yeah, it's a struggle. Um, it's a hideous midfield. It is. I'm, and I'm it hasn't <sighs> been... I'm sorry, but everything that... More than anything, what, what Juventus needed was more ball players. Players that were better on the ball, like a Pjanic, but a, hopefully a better version of him, because I'm still waiting to see this Pjanic that is really lighting up the stage I'm gonna go, on a consistent basis. I'm going to go Pjanic... Benton, Core, and Matoidi. But as you know, I'm not a Juventus yeah. fan. Um, can, I, can I just say one thing on this, though? Because um, Benton, Core, really? Why not? He could, well, well, why, well, Benton, why? Core was playing well at the beginning of last season. I think that the thing which does get lost a little bit in this, and it, it may be as fair because Sarri's formation is what it is, but when you look at the flexibility of, for instance, what Ancelotti does at, at Napoli, and you've got Fabian... Um, who you wouldn't think of as a naturally defensive midfielder playing alongside Alan, and notionally it's a 4 4 2, but you watch how they drop together and how they play all the roles. If your players can give you that level of flexibility, then we can talk. If you can get Pjanic to say, okay, yes, I'm the creator, but I'm also going to drop out to the left back when I have to and, and, and give doubling up on the full backs, as um, Fabian was doing against Liverpool, then we can talk. But he at the moment, have it's. Historically, in Saudi systems, the guy in that role doesn't do that. Yeah. Then again, Sadi says, no, all my teams are different. You can't look to my past for my future. So, Mina, you've had a few minutes to think about it. Give me your three. Matuidi, Pjanic, and Hadira. 
I'll be honest, because right now... <laughs> Why did we sign Ramsey and Ruiz? Well, this is my point I mean, exactly. In, if I could choose anyone, I would have signed Ravi and Ruiz, and I would have signed Rakitic. I would have signed Isco well, to have a little bit more. Rakitic, but yeah. I would have signed Rakitic because I think he's, you know, even right. if he's 10 years older than Pjanic, <laughs> he's more intelligent, yeah. And I think that he offers you the duality of the role and he understands right. it better. And when it comes to... Like, listen, I think Ramsey actually had a very good game against yeah. Hellas Verona. He's I think player. he's great for his interventions. But again, it's about what Stuart Robson was talking about last week. Ronaldo's not going to do the defensive work. So the Neither midfield Ramsey. is yeah, going to... Ha- it's true. Exactly. So you need a player there who's going to be happy to cover ground. Yeah. So in order to achieve balance, I do think it needs to be a 4-4-2. I think we need somebody who's like Emre Chan, but perhaps with a little more tactical intelligence, Yeah. Chan isn't stupid. He was, we, we know that he can do a, a role, but I don't think that he's good enough to play the role that I need him to, you know? So who do we have? <laughs> the midfield, for me, it's is funny. still below par. I told you, right. I look at it. I told you I was jealous of Lazio's midfield. So do you trust Sadi to work it out? Do you give and you think, all right, that's fine. But, you know, as Nikki said, you can work with players, you can coach players. If Robbo were here, he'd go on about... How coaching is key. You can make players no, better. No, I think I think it. management. I'm sorry. I think he's going to blow up. It up. Right. This is not Pogba, Vidal, Marquisio, okay. and Pirlo. No. This <laughs> is a very, very um, poor version. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN Plus.